Good afternoon and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. Today was a pretty fun day and like I got stuff done too at the same time. Um, we ended up going to um, the grocery stores. I went to Valley Produce and Caputo's today and um, I did okay I guess budget wise I think. Um, and like I got stuff to make freezer dinners too which is always like you know I expect to pay a little bit more when I actually need to make freezer dinners and stuff like that so I got chicken breast and that alone was like nine ish or so bucks um and then I also ended up getting k-cups too they had because valley produce like whenever it's close to a holiday I notice valley produce has like a lot of sales and stuff like that um, like they have a whole extra page worth of so um and normally they're pretty good deals like they had the um uh starbucks k-cups on sale for 5.99 for a 10 count which is compared to like walmart's price it's still cheaper per k-cup but walmart doesn't sell a 10 count i think they sell an 18 count but they sell it sell it for like 12 dollars i think or something like that which obviously ends up being cheaper if you buy the 10 count for five six bucks um and then they also had dunkin donuts coffee k cups on sale for 4.99 so i got a pack of those as well which my mom doesn't like starbucks k cups and like she because normally i don't get i don't know starbucks doesn't really have like a lot of flavored coffee like vanilla and like stuff like that but um, like I just like the regular like light blended stuff whatever it is um, from Starbucks and so I end up getting like just that stuff and my mom likes like chocolate glazed donut flavored <laughs> stuff and um, uh, I know one brand like you said was like chocolate I think it's chocolate donut or something like that um, and then there's another one uh, vanilla biscotti from Folgers and like a handful of other ones that she really likes because they're like really flavored coffee so um normally like i said i just i think i just got french vanilla coffee from dunkin donuts i think um or french french something maybe it was just french vanilla but like i said my mom even though it's just kind of plain or she'll still wind up having it but she doesn't just really like the super super plain stuff she likes more flavored stuff um other than just like like light blend or medium blend or whatever which is a lot of the times what I get from the Starbucks just because I like it and I like the taste of Starbucks coffee I don't know what it is what kind of coffee beans <laughs> they taste different or whatever but like even the k-cups from Starbucks taste I think I love the taste of Starbucks and the way I get I think the most flavor out of it too is I'll make it with iced coffee so I've got a couple of packages that I'm saving um, that I got on sale from when it was um, like when they were on sale but I want to save them for more like when it starts to get a little bit warmer out because having iced coffee in the morning is like ugh but it's just, it's freezing cold. And honestly, I don't love warm coffee, honestly. I don't like it hot. Normally, I wind up letting it like sit and kind of get to room temperature before I start drinking it anyway. I'm not a huge hot coffee person. Um, and that depends on what it is though. Like if I'm getting like coffee from Starbucks or something like that, like my favorite is a, um, what's it called? Vanilla what is it something mocha vanilla white chocolate mocha um so yeah that's what i get from uh starbucks and that i like warm um like i'll drink it hot but like regular coffee that i make at home i don't like hot coffee like just from the cure or whatever and maybe it's just because normally i wind up having just like more of a generic brand or something like that like i said i don't like having the starbucks coffee actually warm but I don't know maybe if I tried like a different flavor of coffee I might like it warm because like I said it kind of depends but I think because I like the mocha because it's not like just like regular coffee you know um but regular coffee honestly it too I think if I just got regular coffee from Starbucks I don't think I'd even really like that um like I said I like iced coffee but I don't like getting iced coffee from like Dunkin Donuts or Starbucks and stuff like that because I feel like they add too much ice and like I like it to still have a really strong coffee flavor but be more like um like just 
be like cold so what I'll normally do is I'll make it the night before and put some ice cubes in it like maybe one or two and then put it in the fridge overnight and then in the morning add a couple more ice cubes to it so it's already like it's not super watered down I guess but I like my coffee like cold but I like having the ice in it too because then I get those little like it just tastes like like I said it's not super watered down but it, the taste is like still cold and it tastes more like I don't know I add a creamer to it like a lot of creamer to it so I don't know just the way I personally make it I think I like the taste better than when I get iced coffee from restaurants or like you know like I said if I'm going out to a coffee place and getting iced coffee um so then I'll normally get warm coffee so I don't like making warm coffee myself but I don't like getting iced coffee from other places so yeah I don't know um just my preference I guess so <laughs> I've been saving my Starbucks k-cups so that I can um, make iced coffee with them. But anyway, so we ended up going there. And like I said, I ended up spending a little bit more. I think it was like maybe right around 60-ish or so dollars or like 65, which is normally high. I try and stay like under 50. But um, like I said, I ended up also getting um, Coke was on sale, which we normally wind up getting at Aldi, which is or something and it was only 333 at Caputo's so um, I ended up getting a diet coke and a regular coke which normally like I said is for something at Aldi which is normally like a dollar plus so I ended up saving money there and obviously it's less we'll have to spend at Aldi like I said ended up spending about the nine or so dollars on chicken breast this week which I'm going to make two freezer dinners with and then I'm also going to freeze like two pounds of it for my mom to use in the future when she wants to be just because I'm not she's not like doing freezer dinners but what I want to do is buy like meat when it's on sale so that she can use it when she wants instead of her being like oh I want to make something with uh, you know chicken breast this week and me being like there's no chicken breast on sale and then have to like settle to buy like chicken breast that's more expensive or something like that or you know even if it's from Aldi you know buying the bigger pack is cheaper normally so when I do wind up doing that from now on I'm just gonna buy like maybe an extra one or two chicken breasts or like if I get ground beef like an extra pound or two and then wind up freezing that for my mom so that when she wants to use it to make a dinner we have the meat already and then we don't have to worry about like I said going out and buying like just like if she wants to do chicken breast one day and ground beef another day I don't have to be like okay well, what am I gonna do with all those leftovers you know because I'll have to buy a bigger pack instead of having to settle for buying this small little pack and it being you know so much more money sometimes it's almost as much as buying the big pack but you know I don't want to have leftovers and not being able to do anything with them and have to you know wind up leaving them in the fridge and then hopefully they get used or something um so anyways though we ended up um you know going there and then I ended up making my list to go to Walmart and to Aldi tomorrow which Matthew's gonna have to take me because my dad has to work and we obviously can't go on Sunday because it's Easter so we're gonna go tomorrow and then um I did that I did a load of dishes also while I was watching the Cubs game which we ended up watching tonight and they ended up losing an oh an extra innings it was I think they went to like the 16th or something inning or 17th inning it was like a super long game so um ended up like staying up and watching that but now it's late and I need to get to bed so I can go to Aldi tomorrow in the morning before the crowds hit because the day before a holiday is always super busy but I'm hoping if I can get there by like 9 or 10 ish hopefully at the latest um then I should be good and then we're gonna go to Walmart hit up a couple of my um app rebate deals and then um, we also have to go to Menards just to get newspaper and they also have a deal on batteries. So I was going to do that also. Um, and then I have to also go to Walmart and get dog food because we're almost out of dog food, which don't tell these little guys. They had a traumatic experience today because um, we watched Iron Man and I told you guys we ended up watching like the whole, you know, Marvel series and stuff like that. We ended up watching... Um, Captain America two days ago and we had the surround sound on and Charlie was freaking out like it was too loud for him so today we turned it down and he was like a little bit better but he was still freaking out so much that we had to put Ike's old thunder shirt on him because he was still like just freaking out like it was like honestly it was turned down pretty like 
I mean, we had it up, like, at max when we were watching Captain America, and then I was like, okay, this is too loud, which it's hard because the problem is is that they ended up chewing through most of the um, speaker cords, so we only have, like, two or three speakers that work, which is supposed to be, like, six or something like that, or five or six of them or something, and um, that ends up, like, like I said, we only have a couple that still work, and the bass works. But the problem is when they're talking, you can barely hear what they're saying. But then when it's like that low bass, <laughs> the whole room starts shaking because it's on like max. So it was so difficult. And we're like, this is really stink. So my dad was already talking about a couple days ago or a couple weeks ago about getting a new surround sound anyway. Because like I said, it's, you know, and I don't want to just have the TV on like regular because you can barely hear it that way either. And you don't really get into the whole like you know, surround sound, but it's not really surround sound anymore because like I said, they kind of chew through most of the cords. Um, like this was when they were like real, real little. Um, so yeah, but we ended up turning it down and Charlie was still kind of freaking out, but we ended up watching that today too. We watched the Iron Man. So yeah, I watched the bull or no, I didn't get a chance to see the bulls, but they won today. And then I watched the Hawks, which ended up losing. And they had a crazy game yesterday, guys. It was probably the most, like, the, the craziest, like, most eventful hockey game I think I've ever watched ever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was crazy. But I watched uh, the game again tonight. They ended up losing. But um, we watched the Cubs. And like I said, they ended up losing an in extra innings. So, um, yeah, I watched sports games. I watched um the the movie today I got dishes done like I went to the grocery store I got my list done for tomorrow like I felt like really good about today like I got stuff done and I also was able to enjoy myself since it's getting into like the weekend and kind of into um Easter as well so we're actually going out for brunch for Easter this year and then for dinner um my mom was just saying she was like let's just get a lasagna like afterwards or whatever and I was like well I was already planning on I think I told you guys making lasagna in the slow cooker and so I was like I'll just do that on Sunday then instead of doing it on Monday which I was planning on doing anyway so that's the plan kind of for this weekend no volleyball or anything like that I told you guys we have to wait until next Wednesday to see another volleyball game which is gonna be like over like probably close to 10 days since I've seen a volleyball game which is so bizarre when like you know this time I'm already just starting to get into the flow of volleyball and already it's like gonna be a 10 day break before we have another volleyball game so uh, anyways though guys I will see you all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys